we got a lot of ground to cover tonight, but let's start with the man of the hour because this is the discussion right now in the MMA community. Chael Sonnen joins us here. I did not think it was possible, Chael, for anything involving you and your name to be under the radar, but this happened sort of without anybody talking about it. Bring us through the last few days and how you ended up here at Bellator. There's only two kind of people that can keep secret. One you don't know and the other is gangster. If I want to keep something from you, I assure you I will. My question for you, you've always been known as a competitor. You talked before about the itch of wanting to get back in and compete in MMA. Now that you've signed a contract, does that motivation, does that itch get worse? Sure, absolutely. You know, sometimes you need that finish line out there. Sometimes you don't want to get up in the morning in the rain at 5 a.m. and go do the running, particularly when you're in my shoes and you're waking up wearing silk pajamas. But the work's got to be done, and I promise you I will be ready. A simple question everybody's asking. You've been watching the show for a while now. There's been a lot of entertainment factor, a lot of buzz about some of the athletes here in Bellator. Why Bellator for Chael Sonnen? That was a simple question, and it came from a simple man, and I'll give you an even simpler answer. Why not Bellator? Here, write this down so maybe you can understand it and see it with your own eyes. Zero apostrophe S. He hasn't disappointed so far. No, not at all. Not at all. All right, Joe, you know the story. Obviously, you're online like everybody else yesterday. A lot of conversation about drug testing. You joined the USADA pool. Bring people up to date on the results so far, and was that addressed in your Bellator contract? Yeah, everything was fine, basically. Why don't you tell me? A lot of things lie, but I know that your eyes don't. The biggest arms in Westland, Oregon, the most powerful presence in the history of MMA, the one and only, the personality, the power, the man with the biggest arm, the man with the greatest charm, the man that does all the harm coming to Spike TV. And for that, you're welcome. A better question is going to be not why Chael Sonnen and Bellator, but why did it take so long, I think is what we're going to be talking about. All right, a little bit later on, we're going to talk more with this man, Chael Sonnen, because believe it or not, he's got more to say, including his target list here in Bellator now that he has arrived. 